Hello my fishing friends and welcome to another Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 video. Uh, in this video we're going to talk a little, about, a little bit about the game. Because I spent 27 hours of playing. Um, I reached level 22 in the meantime so I know a little bit about the game now. Uh, first thing we want to talk about is realistic. Unplayable. It's really un unplayable. So I'm not even try it so I play normal so let's go and what do we tell about the game well I love the game first of all I really really love the game I played 27 hours you can see here game time 27 hours 315 fish catch um, I love it and what they also changed in normal mode now you can go to your residence before I couldn't and as you can see, I already got 9 fish in the aquarium. So let's go to the residence and let's check out the fish, guys. I think it's fun. Whoa, going a little bit fast. There we go. Here I already got the fish. As you can see, I got 9 fish in it. We can check it. We got 10 perch, crucian carp, and an asp. So that's the fish we got in it. And like this one... It's in it for 25 hours and it grow 0.62 kilograms and is now worth 985. Uh, you can feed them. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything feeding and it's fun. Look, the worms are coming. Let's get a little closer. It's really fun. There we go, throw in a little bit more. And they are really, really hungry. So I think this is, is very nice that you can put fish in your aquarium. Um, I think they should do this like uh, ex something extra. Because the... How do you call it? This is normal mode and realistic. They say then you get this, then you get that, then you get... But it doesn't work. Somehow it doesn't work. Um, equipment. Well... This is still the starter set that you normally have. This, I changed. I buy me another rod. This is a 4.54 kilogram rod. This was already the reel that I own, 4.5, so they combine. And 4.4 kilogram line on it. Uh, 5 kilogram uh, leader. We already own it, and the rest is still the same. Uh, yeah, I'm fishing with a hook tin. Because I found out that size matters in the game. If you use a bigger hook, you catch bigger fish. So be careful, don't use a too big hook on a too small gear. Because you will lose your fish. Uh, and I bought this one. <coughs> this was a lot of money. Uh, I caught the Sakura Salt Sniper Salts, blah 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 blah. I have no idea. But it's a 6.35 kilograms, 6 kilogram reel I bought with line. Um... But I need to say, in the new water, where I'm fishing, lure fishing is not working. And that's here, it's a lazy. Lure fishing I tried, but it's terrible. I love to uh, fish here with the bobber. And that works really, really good. So yeah, you know guys, let's go fishing and let's talk about fishing when we're there. Uh, I noticed that the morning and the noon, <coughs> clear sky, worked the best to catch fish. Alright, here we go. What do I like about the game and what do I don't like about the game? First of all, let's talk about what I really like about this game. What I really like is very realistic. Um, I read some comments of people who said, Yeah, when I got a fish on and I reel it in, then the fish snaps off. I lose the fish. And that's logic because... Maybe you guys are used to play Fishing Planet. In Fishing Planet, when you put your drag to max and you got a fish on, you can reel whatever you want and that's it. The fish comes closer or the fish don't come closer. Here, it's realistic. In real life, if you put your drag too high and you got a fish on and you think, come on, let's pull it in, he will snap off the hook. That's real life. Here is the same story. Here, if you get a fish on, you need to like... Uh, you know what? Let's try and catch a fish. I like to fish very close. Alright, here we go. Normally the biting is quite fast. But we will see. 
the only thing they need to change that every time that you go out of the game your speed goes to 10 percent and your leader length also goes back to 0 0.5 meters and that's that's be honest very annoying it would be nice if they would just keep that where you left it because i fish at maximum depth two and a half meters for me it works very very well here on this spot and i catch them oops i catch some nice fish so let's throw it in and let's see if we can catch get a fish on the hook and then i'm gonna show you what i mean with if you have a big fish you cannot just reel it in like like an idiot and think oh easy no this game is realistic you need to pull your rod then put your rod to the front and reel in put your rod up put your rod to the reel in and put your rod to the front so come on i hope we will catch a fish and the same story is with underwater maybe people think wow underwater camera well, i don't know it's funny to see but first of all it doesn't work if you want to catch fish because you're gonna react like uh you see the fish hitting like this and then you pull but you're too late it's from it's very difficult to catch fish while you're underwater camera so i i don't like it i just use this and i watch the bobber and when the bobber really goes under the line then you pull and then you got a fish and you reel it in so underwater it doesn't work and we got a bite and let's hope we got him on yeah all right as you can see this fish is pulling so what are you doing you rot up real you rot up real that's the way in real life how you fish and even then you can lose your fish but this is how you do it in real life you will see if i just keep reeling i probably gonna lose the fish he will snap off <coughs> Because when the when the strings on the fish is too big, he will snap off. He will snap off the hook. You will lose it. And the problem with that is, is also when you lose the fish, you cannot play on. You need to leave this fishing water and then come back in this fishing water because yeah they, they will fix it, but you cannot you cannot fish anymore. This fish is not strong enough to get off. And I got my drag on 80%. So let's see what fish that we got here. I think it's a nice one. It's carp. A seasoned carp. Very nice one. And it's... Let's see. It is 78 centimeters. 7.29 kilograms. And it gives me 45.60 bucks. And 24 experience. And they also changed that. Because before when you catch a certain fish. You get 11, 1200 experience. That was a little bit crazy, so they changed it. Uh, if you keep it, it will give you 24 experience and you can sell it for 4560. When you release it, you will get 36 XP, but no money. So that's a choice what you make. If you have plenty of money and you just want to level up, release it. If you want some money and you want some experience, you use keep. And when you use keep, it will come in your keep net. Uh, your keep net becomes bigger when you get a higher level automatically you will get a bigger keep net my capacity at this moment is 45 kilograms uh, and when you once you have those fish and you catch a fish and your net is full he will tell you your net is full do you want to go to your net so that's very nice then you say yes and then you come in your net and then you will have a whole list of fish and you can sell them one by one by pressing here but you can also here some fish this one is too big you can put them in your aquarium you can add them to a trophy so if you catch a very nice big fish you can add them to a trophy and he will be on your trophy wall and you can look at it in 3d and i think they did quite a nice job maybe a little bit too shiny but yeah i think they did a good job so that about the fishing net all right and what more can we tell guys i think the game is very 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 realistic um, i don't think that like why am i no f not fishing 
All right, like this. Also, what I think is not necessary is this. You can see the fish swimming on the water. Mm, I don't see the use of it. Uh, what they also should change, like if I throw in far away, it's always a guess where my gear is landing because they should put like a marker where I want to throw my bobber. If, like if I want to fish at this lily, I should put the marker there and then throw in on that marker. So I know I want to fish there or there's a tree trunk in the in trunk in the water and I want to fish there. Or I know there it's uh, one meter deep and there it's two meters deep. But you cannot really, really like picking the place where you want to fish. Every throw is just a lucky throw in about the area where you want to fish. So I hope they will change that. <coughs> it would be very, very nice. Um, for the rest, let's talk about the setup, uh, drag setup. If we go here to equipment. It's actually very simple. Like here I got a 4.54 kilogram rod. And my reel is a little bit less. It's four and a half. So that's good. My drag of my reel can never break my uh, rod. Even max drag. My rod can handle it. And then the line is even a little bit less big. It's 4.4 kilograms. So if anything of this setup would break it would be my line because this is the weakest link so you will not break your rod and that's very important um, let's talk about the baits is it very important what you use mm, in certain fish yeah because if you fish with corn you will catch all kinds of fish but you will not catch pike uh, perch they don't like corn so what do I do if I want to fish, let's go to the shop. If I want to p fish for uh, pike and here are the baits. Perch, I use earthworm. They work perfect. Um, yeah, in the next video, I hope we can talk about lure fishing because at the moment that's very, very poor. The only thing you can do with uh, lure fishing is like throwing in and that's it. This is it. This is your lure fishing. And the only thing you can do is just reel in at, at speed, let's say 14, 15, 16. It depends on the lure. And you just reel in and that's it. Slowly reel in. There is no uh, stop and go, uh, lift and drop, uh, that kind of twi twitching. Uh, at the moment, that's not possible yet. But I think they will change that in the future. I hope so. Um, this video... It's a little bit longer than I was planning, but yeah, there's a lot of lot to tell about this game. I, I really, really, really love the game. I love what they did. Um, let's see, what did I want to do? We're going to exit this location. All right, here we go. And remember, there are quests. You have your daily quests and you will not get a notification automatically. You will get a sound notification in the game. So if you think like, Broom! what is that? Check this. Check, so check your quest. Because probably you finished a, a, a chest, a quest, I'm sorry. And that's important because you can get nice money. Especially when you're low level. I'm level 22. I'm, I'm very happy. But as you can see, to get level 23, I need 10,172 XP. And I got 1,860. So I need some fishing. Uh, I really, really need some fishing. I just have two and a half thousand dollar because I spend a lot of money on a rod and a reel. And I hope Friday uh, they will have another water. I hope that rod and reel will be good for there. Then you got your statistics. Here you get all the big fish that you catch. And some fish I catch quite nice ones. Let's see. Where we have, like this one, this was a very, very amazing fish. A seasoned carp, 17.17 .17 kilograms and 94 centimeters. That was a big, big, big fish. That was quite a fight to catch it. So, yeah, very, very nice. And the rest, yeah, not very big, not, not giants, all small fish. 
so yeah that's this and you got your ranking and I don't know they changed it again but they still working on it so everything is still in work they are still working on it but overall I really really love this game guys but remember what I told be very careful with your hooks uh, if you have like small no not small not heavy gear don't put on a, a very big hook because even I already buy a little bit heavier gear if I use uh, a 4 -oh hook a 4 hook or a 5 hook I get some fish that I'm almost not able to to reel in so the hook size really matters in this game not so not really where you fish or yeah the depth may s may be a little but not really the hook size is very important I, I found out uh, the bigger hook the bigger fish <coughs> and of course your bait and there are very very a lot of where are we baits where are we this there are the baits and we got a lot of baits but some of them are really really expensive so I have no idea what you can catch with it it has to be a monster fish that gives you monster money because look at this if you buy snail natural it will cost you 67 and a half bucks that's a lot of money for a little bait and I think that's that's the expensive one leech also 63 and what am I doing I fish just with corn it's only nine bucks you get ten of them so you catch ten fish trust me you earn a lot of money on it um, of course lure fishing would be cheaper you only have the lure and you don't need to buy baits but lure fishing to me it doesn't work I'm sorry to say I hope uh, they will change it in the future but yeah this is what I have to tell about this game at the moment um, I will tell everybody go play this game it's an amazing game they did an amazing job I'm, I'm serious and if I didn't like it I would also say it I would just tell you guys I'm sorry I don't like the game but I can't say that because I love the game I love the graphics that they did <coughs> some stuff they just need to fix but yeah overall it's a great game and guys try it try to play the game and if you see this video and you try this game for the first time because you can uh, ask if you can do the trial like I do the testing and they will allow you and if you do that for the first time and you like this game please put it in the comments tell me what you think about this game and if you like the video maybe you subscribe to my channel support me a little uh, don't forget notification bell please thumbs up under the video I would really really appreciate that and yeah leave a comment thank you very very much for watching guys enjoy this game and this is just a test version like I said the real game is still work in progress and I think it's going to be an amazing game. So guys, good luck and see you later.